Do we know why we dream? And I don't know if that's a science question mm -hmm. or if it's something beyond science, but uh, do, we, do we have a handle on that, Deirdre? Well, I'm, I'm sure someone's going to give a more <laughs> psychological or spiritual answer than this, but um, I, I'm sort of theoretically an evolutionary psychologist, and I, some of the detractors of dreaming argue that that rapid eye movement sleep and and to the extent that some dreams happen in other stages of sleep sleep are are the things that have a function and that dreams are an epiphenomena that that the brain needs to be in a certain biochemical state to be replenishing one neurotransmitter while it doesn't need to make any others and so some areas shut down for reasons that are very physiologic and and they like hobson just go on to say therefore you know dreams don't mean anything i think they're probably right about what the basic core origin ba basically it's with the start of mammals that rem sleep developed and I do assume there are all these very biological repair reasons that we need rapid eye movement, sleep, and non -rem what, what would sleep. be getting repaired during REM sleep? Um, some of the transmitters that are the least active in our brains are getting synthesized, but the areas where they're the most active have to be shut down for them to be synthesized. The, the immune system seems to be producing things. There are a lot of things going on. But, but in terms of the brain, uh, some, some neurotransmitters are not being made in adequate quantities while we're awake, and we would, we would be more and more depleted. So, 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 so anyway, so I think that that's like the main reason that we have the sleep cycle that we do for all of mammals. But then that that's the only reason we dream, I think, is sort of naive about how evolution works, that you just have function upon function layered on top of each other for something that's been around as long as mammals have been along. And so there are probably some psychological functions for all animals and some for primates and some that are specific as the human brain developed. So I think we're just thinking in a different biochemical state. And some of the reasons for that state may be biological repair, but then once we're in that state, we, we visualize things better. We don't think in fine logic as well.